Hello learners! I am Sir Johnny A. Navarro, Master Teacher 1 from Camtinho National High School. Today, we are going to venture into the music of the lowlands of Luzon. Based on the provided modules to you, you have already learned of the vocal and instrumental music, which varies in every province in Luzon. But before we proceed to our lesson proper, let us first have a short recap of the previous lesson. Are you familiar with the game Fat or Bluff? It's just easy! I will flash a statement on the screen. If you think the statement is true, say Fat. If not, you may say Bluff. Are you ready? Let's begin. Folk songs are songs written by the folk and are sung to accompany daily activities and are traditionally passed on orally. Is it a fact or bluff? Yes, it is a fact. Number two, Passion is a Philippine narrative of the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ in a form of song with a dramatic theme. Is it a fact or bluff? Yes, it is a fact. Salubong is a religious ritual that reenacts the meeting of the risen Christ with his mother on the dawn of Good Friday. Is it a fact or bluff? Yes, it is a bluff because it is the meeting of the risen Christ with his mother on the dawn of Easter Sunday. Next, Santa Cruzan is a religious historical event that dramatizes the finding of the Holy Cross by the Queen Helena and her son Constantine the Great. Is it a fact or bluff? You're right! It is a fact. The video clip below is an example of both folk song and polka. Is it a fact or bluff? Yes, it is a fact. Did you answer all statements correctly? Very good! Before we proceed, here are the objectives of our lesson for today. The music of the lowlands of Luzon is composed of vocal and instrumental music. And to further understand the lesson, let us start with a listening activity. Based on the video clips that will be shown, identify the elements of music associated with it by encircling each component. Use the listening activity form below and write your answers in your notebook. Now let's see if your answers are correct. For the first video clip, and for the second video clip, did you answer most of the elements correctly? Well done! Now, here are sample video clips of instrumental music in the lowlands of Luzon. The brass band is an example of woodwind, brass, and percussion instruments. Here in the Philippines, 
that are usually played in fiestas, religious, and civic celebrations. The Las Piñas bamboo organ is found in St. Joseph Church in Las Piñas City. It is made of 902 bamboo pipes. It was completed in 1824 under the supervision of Father Diego Serra. Musikong Bumbong are Filipino marching bands that use woodwind instruments that are made up of bamboo. Felix Ramos was both the founder and inventor of the bamboo instruments. Pangkap Kawayan, popularly known as the Singing Bamboos of the Philippines, is an orchestra that plays music using non-traditional bamboo instruments like the angklung, bumbong, kalatok, talunggating, kalagong, tulali, panpipes, and the kiskis. The Angklung Ensemble is a small group of musicians who plays Angklung bamboo instruments that are made of bamboo rattle tubes attached to a bamboo frame. <music> Lastly, the Rondalia is an example of string instruments played with a plectrum or pick and generally known as plectrum instruments. It originated in medieval Spain. The tradition was later taken to Spanish America and the Philippines. Its instruments compose of guitar, bandulia, laud, octabina, and bajo de uñas. In African and Asian countries, most of the native instruments are classified based on this system. The instruments are classified as idiophone, chordophone, membranophone, aerophone, and electrophone. Now let us identify the following musical instruments based on the horn bostel sax system. For the next activity, it is now your turn to recreate musical instruments that are discussed in this lesson by improvising recyclable materials found in your homes. Since you are not allowed to go out because of the threat of the COVID-19 pandemic, this is an opportunity for you to test your resourcefulness and creativity in doing this activity. This ends our lesson for today. I hope that you learned a lot. This has been Gianni Navarro of Camp Tino National High School. Thank you very much for listening.